Since the U.S. altered the semiconductor restrictions, Huawei has persevered in such a challenging development environment and is still putting in a lot of effort. It has overcome several American constraints thanks to its own robust 5G capabilities and has been at the cutting edge of 5G technology. Not only has Huawei achieved significant advancements in 5G-based stations, but also in businesses related to 5G. Another recent piece of positive news from Huawei is that it has been awarded 3,000 contracts globally. In any case, Huawei's latest innovation is the finest defense against the US. What are the 5G contracts for, then? To what extent does Huawei value it? Why has Huawei earned so many international orders and why is its 5G strength so strong? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hot Topics Time, a channel that examines the wisdom hidden in the news and offers fresh interpretations on current events. Please subscribe to our channel before we begin the video we have today so that we can urge you to watch more of them. Okay, let's keep discussing about this subject. On February 28, during this year's Mobile World Congress, Huawei Executive Director publicly announced that Huawei's 5G private network has been commercialized on a large scale in many industries in China, and Huawei has signed more than 3,000 commercial contracts for 5G industry applications around the world, and has accumulated rich experience in the 5G field. In other words, Huawei has received 3,000 orders in total from industries based on 5G, including as 5G coal mines and 5G railway ports. Such orders are obviously massive in scope. This indicates that Huawei has not only made strides in its core industries, such as 5G base stations, but has also done well in 5G ancillary companies. What accounts for Huawei's superior 5G performance? Therefore, why has Huawei's 5G development been continuously hampered by the United States? Well, Huawei joined the 5G technology market quite early and made significant research and development investments. In addition, more and more nations have accepted and acknowledged Huawei's 5G base stations during the past several years. Despite pressure from the US, numerous nations have taken down Huawei's 5G base station hardware. However, Pertinent sources stated that pressure from the US led to the UK banning Huawei 5G. In general, the market has already given considerable market impact and recognition to Huawei's 5G technology. Given these advantages, it is genuinely anticipated that Huawei's 5G derivative company would be able to secure a significant portion of all derivative business orders worldwide. So, is there a chance that Huawei 5G will eventually succeed more in the market for 5G derivatives? In reality, Huawei's 5G is still full of optimism for future successes. Huawei's 5G technology has clearly regained favor in its derivative sector because to these 3,000 orders. After all, services produced from 5G will demand more advanced scientific research skills. Huawei will undoubtedly be able to acquire more derivative business orders in the future. Huawei also has the world's most sophisticated 5G technology. It is thus not improbable that Huawei will be able to get more derivative business orders in the future with such a significant technology edge in the 5G industry. Will the United States simply let Huawei go in light of its numerous successes? The United States will undoubtedly persist in the future. The United States crown as the world's leading technology has already been threatened by Huawei's growing 5G strength. How can the United States, which has traditionally upheld the value of precedence, stand by and do nothing while Huawei's path toward 5G growth becomes broader and longer? Additionally, the United States is now working on 5G, and Huawei is without a doubt its fiercest rival. The United States will not give up on removing the barriers to the creation of its own 5G technologies. After all, the advancement of 5G has already established itself as a future trend. Ron Zhengfei, the founder of Huawei and the father of Meng Wanzhou, has always anticipated that the ban will not be effective in the long run. Regarding 5G patents, Huawei has the top spot. A report by the official news agency of China, Xinhua News Agency, dated December 20, 2021, 
claims that China has constructed more than 1.3 million 5G base stations, or around three quarters of all such stations worldwide. China plans to have 739 million 5G customers by 2025, according to a new research by ABI Research. It accounts for around 40% of the worldwide 5G market share. The 5G network in China is reportedly being used by 497 million people, according to the Chinese Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. According to a directive issued in July 2021, China will further enhance its information and communication technologies in 2022 and advance the development of 5G services and gigabit fiber optic networks in a stable and orderly manner. By 2023, it is anticipated that there will be more than 560 million 5G users. The 5G network is anticipated to be utilized by more than 40% of personal mobile phone users by the end of the year, and every 10,000 individuals in China will have access to more than 18 5G base stations. China already had 40% of the 6G patents, and as time goes on, it may gain a stronger foothold in this next wave of telecom innovation. The United States has long seen China's 5G technology as a danger to its military and, understandably, desired to improve its position in 6G. But that is not simple. And as China makes more and faster progress, things might get increasingly trickier. Huawei created a 6G RD laboratory fairly early on and has achieved advancements in hardware and information antenna research in terms of technology development and application. In terms of software, Huawei has started utilizing deep learning in artificial intelligence, which is frequently employed in 6G communications. The Millimeter Wave Terahertz Industry Development Alliance, which is led by a number of Chinese businesses, also aims to obtain technological advantages in 6G and compete with the US's NextG Technology Alliance. Meanwhile, the China Science and Technology Network has some more encouraging news. According to the report, the first real-time wireless transmission communication experiment was successfully conducted by China's 6G Network Laboratory and the network speed may surpass 25 gigabytes per second. It has the capacity to send 1 billion bytes of data per second in theory. The 4.54 gigabyte Windows 11 installation file takes more than 10 minutes and sometimes even hours to download on 5G, 4G, and 3G networks. The same Windows 11 setup file downloads on a 6G network in under one second. China now has a technological edge in the field of 6G, and local expert groups from various universities, research centers, and businesses have started working on relevant projects and expedited development with the help of state-led subsidies. China's relentless efforts in telecommunications, which have helped it go from being last to first, will eventually play a significant role in China's regeneration. Overall, Huawei has aggressively deployed in 5G sectors including healthcare, coal mining, industry, and ports and expanded its impact in these wide-ranging and diversified industrial situations. Huawei recognized the significance of 5G industry applications early on. Now, 3,000 orders have been placed globally for Huawei's 5G technology. This is undoubtedly the development and accomplishment of 5G technology which can lead to even greater brilliance in related industries. Then, which use of Huawei technology are you most anticipating? Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated.